What do we have here? I got a nice uh, Marilyn Monroe military ID card signed as Norma Jean DiMaggio. Th that's amazing. I, I don't think she signed her name Norma Jean DiMaggio that often. Well, she would have signed it that way for right at a year? <laughs> no, about nine months. It's like they're married for, and it didn't go very well, from my understanding. She had a weird, bizarro life. <laughs> <laughs> I came to the pawn shop today to sell my Norma Jean DiMaggio military ID card. The military ID card was issued when she went on her honeymoon with Joe DiMaggio. She ended up doing a tour for the USO. I'm looking to sell ID card because I want to get some money from my daughter's college education. Um. That is, that's, that's pretty damn cool. Um, let's see. He also has her fingerprints on the back as well. Um, the reason she ended up taking a tour in Korea, and she wanted to go see good American, wholesome boys defending their country, because these are the guys who basically made her a star. She said afterwards that it was like one of the most important things she ever did. All right, do you know anything about it? She had two ID cards made. One was laminated, and this is the one that was, I guess, an office copy that they had. It says void right across the front of it, so I imagine he sort of had her fill two of them out and says, oh, I messed the other one up. So here, can you fill this one out? <laughs> that could be. That could be. As far as celebrity memorabilia goes, Marilyn Monroe is the most sought after on the planet. I've seen some of her stuff sell for a fortune. But I've never seen anything signed Norma Jean DiMaggio. So how much were you looking to get out of it? I'd like to get 40000 for it. Um, <sighs> OK, I mean, have you had anybody look at it? Uh, no, I just compared to the one that was that sold on, on the internet. On the Are you technology. a signature expert? No. <laughs> <laughs> Looks pretty close to me, though. OK, yeah, I'm, ju I'm just saying pretty close in this kind of business is the difference between big money and jail. Boy. So do you mind if I have someone look at it? No, please. OK. Let me get him down here, hang out, maybe buy something, figure okay. out how you're going to spend the money. Thank you. <laughs> this is the magic piece right here. Cool. Marilyn Monroe. Um, no, it's Norma Jean. Well, DiMaggio. <laughs> Meryl Monroe got married to Joe DiMaggio in 1954. They went on their honeymoon. They were in Japan. Well, the US Army got wind of this. They said, hey, would you mind coming over to entertain the troops in Korea? When she came out there and entertained, they just went crazy. Her trip over there was a really big deal. So, I mean, the bizarre thing about this is it says Norma Jean DiMaggio, which I don't know if Marilyn Monroe is more collectible than DiMaggio. And it says void, and they actually wrote over her signature a little bit. So whatever it's worth, I have no clue. I mean, the first thing I want to do is see if it's live ink. As I take this, and I'm going to just place it on top here. And immediately, I'm seeing ink. We see the nice oxidation. OK. No question about that. The ink's live, so that's a good thing. All right. Um, it, I mean, is this their signature? This is the original. So if we start to look at the two together, um, you know, we could see here, I mean, they're literally almost identical, which is really positive. OK. What do you think? Does the signatures look correct? Um, absolutely no question this is the real deal. OK. Yes. All right, cool. Um, so what's it worth? OK, so w w you know, with all this said, I mean, you know, you've got this great piece here, but it's a little different. Some things that do hurt it. You don't have uh, the date. You don't have the photo. But this value here, I peg right at about $25,000. OK. Thanks a lot. All right, good to see you. OK, if I buy it, I'll call you. Yeah. Seeing a piece like this, pretty amazing. It's so rare that something like this would actually hit the market. I think any kind of collector would want this. Huh, so I hope you're still not stuck on that $40,000. I heard what he said. I'll take that in consideration. I can go down to 30. I'll give you like 12 grand. Yeah, I can't do that. A known one that went for 50 something thousand dollars. It, 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 the other one was completely different. 28. I mean, I'll just cut to the chase. I'll do $13,000. That's all I'm going to do. Yeah. I'm sorry. 
Sorry, I can't do that. OK. Sorry, we're not going to be able to make a deal, man. Thank you. Thanks. All right. Since we didn't make a deal today, I'm going to plan on keeping the card and maybe uh, hold out for my son's college education.